When the river runs dry, we got to take over. Take over. Yes, we've been running many miles. It's a take over. Take over. When the river runs dry, we got to take over. Take over. Yes, we've been running many miles. It's a take over. Take over now. times we've been told something lots of options and lots of promises it's an illusion and a lie what's a day gonna bring can somebody say something oh yeah. yeah when the river runs dry we got to take over take over yes we've been running many miles it's a take over take over now when the river runs dry we got to take over take over yes we've been running many miles it's a take over take over now So many problems, all options in a star. No good option for the Prime Minister. Decisions be made, we are powerless. We got to stick together, have no trouble, no fuss. Blah. When the river runs dry, we got to take over. Take over. Yes, we've been running many miles. It's a take over. Take over now. When the river runs dry, we got to take over, take over. Yes, we've been running many miles. It's a take over, take over now. Scumpity dum bing dum bing dum bing dum bing dum bing dum. Scumpity ding ding dum 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 ding dum. Scumpity ding ding dum 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 dum. Scumpity ding ding dum 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 ding dum. Skinny knee wow, skinny knee wow. When the river runs dry, we got to take over. Take over. Yes, we've been running many miles. It's a take over. Take over now. When the river runs dry, we got to take over. Take over. Yes, we've been running many miles. It's a take over. Take over now. All right, where's that theme song? Where's my theme song? Oh, yeah, there you are. There you are. Let's get it. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, NBs, and in betweenies, it's me, your puppet uncle, your punkle, Puppet Jared, back at it again on another chaotic evening of nonstop befuddlement, bewilderment, and bedazzlement. I see a lot of familiar faces in the chat already. Boba Fetish, Heaven Hound, Doberman, Rock and Roll Toast, Everland Sanders, Mixic, Reeves, Square Brat, Jean, Attack on Deck, Oogboard, Sote, AJE, ah, all of you, all of you beautiful, beautiful people. Let's get silly. Let's get donkey. Let's just get donkeyed up, everybody. I want you to go full donkey mode. This time around, I want you eating hay. I want you kicking stuff. I want you just going absolutely nutty. Enjoy your Zoa. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Enjoy your Zoa, Jenna. Enjoy your Zoa, Professor Pig. Enjoy your Zoa, Torgo. Uh, I, I don't know. If, I, I don't have to explain this. You guys, you're, you're the hardcore. 
the hardcore people are already in here. Uh, we do commercial breaks. We're, it's a, it's a cartoon rocket block. Gotta watch those old school commercials. If you want to submit a request, just hit the uh, Streamlabs link in the description or when Nightbot uh, pops it out and uh, throw it in the media share and we will watch some goddamn old weird commercials, preferably ones that will leave me less shattered. If we can try not to shatter me this go around, that would be fantastic. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me catch up on uh, what, what were you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Enjoy your zone. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, uh, Modern Bard, I'm sorry you're having a COVID week. I hope you're getting your fluids. I hope I am easing your mind. God damn. Thank you, Professor Pig, and thank you, One Hypnotic. Enjoy your Zoas. Oh, man. Oh, man. Can I? I should search for that. The Rock. The Rock showed up at the Games Fest from his gym. And you, if you squinted in the back, you could see his personal cooler of Zoa. So he hasn't abandoned the brand yet. The the Dwayne The Rock Johnson is still fueled by the world's only positive energy beverage. I am uh, I'm personally sipping on some uh, clearance sale G Fuel that I got at a gas station. So that's what I'm doing right now. Mm. Comrade, yes, I did see the rock shilling Zoa. Enjoy your Zoa. Oh my gosh, it's 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 rolling in. You guys are giving me too much to work with. I don't mind it, keep it coming. Papa needs a pair of shoes. Soul to XL, I will take your uh, artificial powder suggestions to mind. Torgo says, I found gentler PSAs this week. All right, all right. We'll see how gentle it gets. Fleshwife says, you have no legs. I have flesh legs, and those flesh legs need shoes. I'm going to be showing up barefoot at the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville. Everyone's going to be like, hey, Jake. Oh, my God, Papango, thank you so much for the $10 dono. Can't wait to see what you picked. Um, yeah, I'm going to have, like, bloody toes. It full of embedded glass and old vape batteries. And everyone's going to be like, man, you should have gotten shoes. I'm going to be like, yeah. Yeah, I should have. Um, I, I, honestly, going into this week, I was like genuinely hoping I could do a lower energy week. Uh, I, I've just been like riggedy rocked. We just finished recording our ET episode. I've been doing prep work for the for the show. I think just been running around personal stuff. But as soon as I saw your beautiful names in the chat, I just got hype. I just got so hyped to see you all. I'm excited. I'm excited for the tunes this week. In fact, why don't we why don't we uh, why don't we get going? Why don't we get this party train out of the party station on our way to the party destination? <laughs> Rock and Roll Toe says, no low energy. Give us the donkey show. Hell yeah. Hee-haw, hee-haw. It's a donkey show, not the sex kind. It's the cool kind. Let's go. Bam. Ooh. You didn't need to see that. Uh, first, on the, first on the docket tonight, I... Uh, Enjoy your Zoa. Galaxy Rangers. We're going to give Galaxy Rangers another go. We're going we're gonna to see... Whether or not Galaxy Rangers got the goods. Because last week, if you were there for it, oh, the dizzying highs, the befuddling lows, the jazz saxophone Yodas, the truly be below F tier voice acting. Jennifer, yes, yes, your embroidery cheered me up. Hold on, let's show it. Let's show it. Gotta appreciate some some needlepoint. Thank you for this live, laugh, piss embroidery. I love it. I love it so much. I love it so much. As true as true now as it was today. Soul to XL as jump ahead 3ish episodes. Really? Soul to XL, you I trust you. Are you saying that Galaxy Rangers really pops off on episode 4? Is this what you're saying? Am I are we doing a, are we calling an audible? 
oh my god, the voice acting is so much worse than uh, I. I yearn for Dino Saucer's voice acting. Soul to XL. I'm honestly, I'm. I'll go ahead and do it. I will skip if you swear it is. There's like a trillion episodes of this show. It's been 20 years. Look at this. Look at this. There's 65, 65 episodes. We'll see. You know what? We got to give it its proper due. Because if this is, maybe this is the next vampires. Maybe this is the next Orbots. When we can't skip Vital Galaxy Rangers lore. We're going to stick to the plan. This is episode two. Oh, Squid Flaps. If you, you're not ready for how bad the voice acting is. They did like computer beeps vocally. They did acapella sound effects. Demon Whiskey Nick says, hey, Jared, I can't make it to Nashville, but I'm getting a hotel and having a mini vacation as I watch the live stream. That's awesome. Honestly, I love a hotel mini vacation. I love just being like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I want to sleep on a big weird bed. I want, I want to, I want to, I want somebody to clean up after me. I don't give a fuck. I love that move. Andrew says, I'm interrupting the Whizbrew listen session. Are we still on Pac-Man? Is it still Pac-Man week over on Whizbrew? That was a fun episode. That was a fun one to do. Those beeps are from the one computer character. It's still a weird thing. It's still weird. Anyway, it's called the cartoon dumpster, not the me rambling dumpster. Let's get this party started with Galaxy Rangers Episode 2. In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest <laughs> ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> God. Man, that theme song slaps harder than I remember. Ladies, gentlemen, and delegates of the Bureau of Extraterrestrial Affairs, Tactical Commander Owen Nagata from the World Federation Board of Leaders will brief us. That's Commander Nagata? His brain unit, his body died years ago. We have received word what? from the outlaw planet of Tortuga. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that just a brain in a hover car? Is our, is our big boss man a brain in a, in a jar? What I need to, I'm sorry. I like my mind could not conceive of that. I, uh, comrade, you're like, I, there's no. Enjoy your Zoa. Ginger Beard, enjoy your Zoa. Thank you very much. Uh, God, I hope he stays a good guy the entire time. I hope there is never, never a villain reveal for this guy. I hope there is a green brain in a jar the entire time being like, damn it, Galaxy Rangers. You're, a, you're loose cannons. I told you to secure the gamma sector. Oh, God damn it. You're, you're boiling my brain goo. I need some more brain goo. <laughs> He's just a lump? That's Commander Nagata? His brain unit, his body died years ago. <laughs> Great delivery. Great delivery. We have received word from the outlaw planet of Tortuno. Captain Kidd will exchange information on the missing humans for a trade alliance with us. Commander Walsh, you will send your new team of Galaxy Ranger. Who the fuck is this guy? Wait, who the fuck is this weirdo? Who's this little pervert? We, we were not introduced to this little sex weirdo. The Queen of the Crown is intent on capturing humans. We've got to find out why. Good luck, team. The Queen won't be expecting the Galaxy Rangers. 
<laughs> Rangers are go. Nobody expects the Galaxy Rangers. Galaxy Rangers. Stick pose. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of this animation. I... Do they, do they have to power up at their little platform? What is the... Wait, why'd they stand at their special platforms and now they're just on a monorail? This, this is the least high speed, high action rollout animation I've ever seen in my life. They just kind of stood around and now they're on a tram. Oh shit, we got a raid? Who's, who dares raid? Who's raiding? Not the, not the uh, Mortal Kombat character. But uh, thank you. Thank you for the raid. If that is happening, I don't. My little dashboard isn't registering it, but shit, welcome aboard. We're watching bad, weird cartoons. Thank you, Max. This is Ranger One. All launch codes are green. Launch sequence activated. Prime the drives, Elma. <laughs> We're gonna do some flying. All systems ready, Goose. Okay, Elma, let's do it. What? Did that ship have a sexy voice? Prime the drives, Elma. We're Elma. All systems ready, Goose. All systems ready, Goose. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's like Master Chief. The ship jacks him off. Okay, Elma, let's do it. <laughs> Ranger it's still so slow. All right, there, there we go. Yeah, just cut to this. One is ready. GV is loaded and ready. Enjoy your Zoa. Enjoy your Zoa, Vince Omni. Goose will meet you on the other side. <laughs> All right. Now let's see what what are our villains this week. Who's who's our Oh, what? Zozo and I will await your return. Remember, 1 hour. If you don't hear from us, you'll take off and contact Beta. I hate that the internet has just ruined the Latin letter beta sure for me. Are some beautiful machines. But Voyage has still got a few bugs to work out, so I'll take her. Hey, Triton. Goose, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the robot horses talk. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and its first words are uh, Goose, my friend. Goose, my friend. <laughs> Do they all have separate Hello, voices? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Wilbur. Rangers, let's ride. You watch yourselves. Rangers, ho! Be careful. What is the point of robot horses? I... What is... Deadneck, thank you so much for the uh, dono. See, even the old, wait. Even the old west, enjoy your Zoa, Torgo. Town of Sarien. It's quiet. Too quiet. Just once, I would love for it to be just quiet enough. 
just for someone to be like, it's quiet. Nice. Great. It's exactly quiet enough for me to feel safe and unsuspicious. Just once. <laughs> One of us stays here. Well, how about Wilbur? Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look at this guy. Holy shit. That is a gr what is Ooh, I love him. Oh, I love him. I want to be his best friend. I want to be this bartender's number one regular customer. I love him. Galaxy Rangers, I don't want no trouble here. Seems to me you do a pretty good job of attracting him. <laughs> serve rangers we're looking for captain kidd you heard of him maybe yes maybe no i gob on rangers hey pal i ain't talking to you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was like on the same level of like when a fucking vampire bites you in the dick level bad voice acting that is the god i need to hear that again I gob on rangers. Hey, pal. <laughs> I ain't talking to you, so <laughs> shut your face. <laughs> yeah! Uh, maybe yes. I'll hook you, mateys. What? Hey, it's that guy! Good show. It's Chicken Friend and his monkey pal. A 40 PT chip. How's that? <laughs> that tickles, Wilbur. Zachary, my human friend, you have some interesting associates. Where's my wife? Where's your ship and your crew? Uh, well, a small problem came up. What's that? This. <laughs> Did they have a guy outside? Wait, wait. Did I miss that? How'd they handle? There was like, they had a friend outside. How'd a whole army of, he was like dealing with like, he had his whole, he had. Zachary, my human friend, you have some interesting associates. Where's my wife? <laughs> Where's your ship and your crew? Uh, well, a small problem came up. What's that? This. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god damn that was a good piece of business wait what what was oh he has a robot arm so he can throw a table okay that one thousand <laughs> for their capture what this is so hard to follow Man, these robots can't aim for shit. I'll hold them off, but please hurry. <laughs> well, that was fun. But I'll call my ship now if you don't mind. You in there. 
Zozo, watch him. <laughs> Strap down and shut your plitz fart. Oh, damn. Bro, you can't just call, tell some... You can't just, like, mention someone's plitz farf like that. That's fucking... Dude. Dude. Wow. I did not think they were going to go there. Just dropping a plitz farf like it was nothing with a hard P. Jesus. We're right behind you. Right. We're out of here. Good work, team. Now, kid, where are the humans? All right. Don't get so uppity. Uh... That asteroid belt is the Queen's graveyard. There are no habitable planets there. I know that. The Queen has them in one of the asteroids. Which one? How should I know? The data disk came in the fuel tray. All I know is, if that's where they are, that's where I don't want to be. That's where we're going. But there are thousands of asteroids. Nico, can you find it? Not from here. Maybe once we're in the belt. We're going inside. <laughs> God! That robot is... has... Sexy ship voice. Not... not sure what to think about that. close to avoid detection. Waldo, keep those deflectors up. You can't be serious. <laughs> we'll find them. We'll never survive. There's the Galaxy Rangers have like their main ship and then one of them's in like a fighter as like support and the fighter jet has the sexy pink eyeball lady. The other one still has the goofy like beep boop boop beep guy at the voice. We survived the small asteroids. <laughs> They're 20 degrees starward, GB. Go this go. early CG, too. I like, a strong psychic energy field. Like, what a weird thing to throw in this show. Oh, right. She's the girl, so she's psychic. I'm using all of my psychic abilities and your innate wife guy energy to find her. I need you to be a wife guy harder than you've ever wife guyed before. Using my psychic powers. Really, make a cringy Twitter post about how you still like her boobs or something. I need you to be the most wife guy. I, I'm okay. I've got to locate the exact source of that vision. I know Eliza is still alive. The spirit of the heart never dies. There, Eliza is there. Hey, this rock's hollow. Energy readings indicate. A Sorry, Fleshwife is uh oh, I don't running off for a rehearsal. Had to say goodbye to my. I might be a. I might be a Fleshwife guy. Scans indicate vertical tubes in the asteroid. I suggest they... Who am I kidding? I am the most ah, flesh wife guy. We're jamming, babe. <laughs> I love you! I like the way you touch me without recoiling in horror. Oh my god. It's like the best. The ground destroyers have not moved. I don't think they've noticed us. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. I'll keep my eye open. Let's go, kid. Depressurizing in three minutes. Surely you jest. I have no spacesuit. Besides, I don't like graveyards. Two minutes to vacuum. You better hope this fits. What? What is it, like a skin-tight plug suit like Evangelion? All right, let's move out. Come on, move it, kid. I can't space. <laughs> Aww. Hello. <laughs> phone company. Our reports show you owe a backlog of bills. Um, the checks in the mail. <laughs> I love the robot guys. I love the robot guys so much. Why isn't this whole show about them? That's so great. That's so great. That's so great. We're talking about the the robot goons has a phone bill. 
Fantastic. I love it. I need to hear it again. Hello. This is the Imperial Phone Company. Our reports show you owe a backlog of bills. Um, the check's in the mail. <laughs> and now he's dead. And now he's fucking dead forever. Please deposit one Quartac. You humans are crazy. Outer space will never be the same. The, oh, the way they have to touch their badge to do something is so silly. Up and Adam, get in. It's just a diamond full of math. What is his his power? Is he's like good at computers, and to manifest it, he summons a diamond full of math. I guess there's so many weird choices. For every amazing moment of TMS animation and hilarious. Uh, bad voice acting. There's just these m b just indecipherable choices. Pathfinder, up and at him. Get in there and open the lock. Radio! His... It's my little program. What? What? Wait, what? If if he's the computer guy, just have him, like, tippy-tap on a keypad, and he's like, I'm in. Don't send out a magical Tinkerbell fairy that's that has a cute voice? What? Why would you do that? Why would you? What? That's the... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm... I can feel neurons in my brain bursting from trying to process the decision making that went into having computer navi out of nowhere how convenient air we've arrived what's going on around here oh lordy hmm a control pad watch this this should do something Oh, now he can hit buttons. Now he doesn't have to fucking summon a magic fairy. Okay. It would see how easy that was. Are they dead? They seem to be in some kind of stasis. What happened? Check this out. What? I came to see the humans, not a gurk. This is the last of the gherkins, the humans. The gherkins? The gherkins. Like the pickle? Like the pickle. Okay, great. We'll follow. The humans are so much stronger. Be quick. Uh-huh. Looks like this pickle's been soured. It takes many gherkins to make just one slaver lord. Their life force is weak compared to the new specimens. What? Bring on the humans. The queen is paying top dollar for humans. I didn't know why until now. Dog. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was did he go? Yee, yee. Was that his noise? Was that the noise? The queen is paying top dollar for humans. I didn't know why until now. Dog. <laughs> yee. <laughs> imagine, imagine. That's the sound you make before you plummet to your death. Your friends are like, oh, what was his last words? And they're like, um, it was, eee. What? Everyone all right? Okay. <laughs> uh, welcome, Galaxy Rangers. To my psycho crypt. It was inevitable that humans would acquire the hyperdrive from my enemies. But your destiny is to serve the Queen of the Crown. 
I rule a mighty and vast empire. Your species will provide strong slaver lords to become my eyes and ears throughout my domain. You've fallen right into my trap, Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> I know all about you, Ranger Zachary Fox. Oh no! My wife! My slaver is feeding on her psychic energy. Behold! What? Uh, I didn't know what was happening. She's not dead, right, Queenie? She is linked to my creation. Eliza Fox's life force can be fully returned only if the psycho crystal on the slaver lord is joined to that other half worn by the human. What? You will provide me the most powerful slaver lords ever created. I'd like a second opinion. Captain, your thunderbolt. Can you tap? <laughs> what? Oh, what's happening? You can do it, Zach. Use the power of punching. <laughs> Stop them. Wait. I mean, cool action. Fun anime explosions. I stepped over that incredibly weird vocal delivery. Hold on. A hey, goose man, nice rescue. A hey, goose man, nice rescue. Fuck. This is, I can't tell how I feel about this show. I, it's so dumb. It's, it feels like it's made by, it feels like someone is using the WALL-E AI algorithm. It feels like someone is typing uh, doll E posts and getting each frame of this show like AI generated frame at a time. This doesn't feel like actual people wrote this. Captain Fox, are we glad to see you? What? Stop using wife magic. Your weakness is my strength. As long as I hold this, I will see through her eyes and I will know where you are and I will have you. What? Zack, removing the crystal could kill her. Zack, I couldn't help but notice that I have literally the exact same character design as your wife. I think I might be, I think the animators might have been confused. I'm pretty much just the same person as your wife. That's weird. Using my psychic powers, I've, I can empath, I, I'm using my empathic ability to um, think this is kind of fucked up. But we've got to get her back to beta. The bank swoop difference is subtle at best, Mixic. I'll hold them while you lift off. Let's go, Elma. Firing thrusters. Oh, yeah, I bet you want your thrusters firing, you sick little minx. You sexy series of ones and zeros.
I have wh what? Was that it? They just got away? We are gathered not for an ending, but for a beginning. Until our psycho crystal is found, Eliza Fox still is linked to the queen and must be put in stasis. <laughs> I'll find her psycho crystal if it takes the rest of my life. <laughs> Why even bother with picking her up? Just have the wife be kidnapped. That's a way more understandable MacGuffin than her psycho crystal. What? Ah, God, the show is infuriating. Oh my God, it is the thumbnail. Hey, mustache guy. Unknown lies before us, but the League of Planets has new hope. With our alien friends, the Galaxy Rangers will bring justice to this untamed wilderness and freedom to the new frontier. <laughs> yeah, wait, also, why did... You're right, you make a good point, Rock and Roll Toast. We put her in a cupboard. Why'd they have, like, a wife shelf ready to go? Oh, no, okay, they're at the wife preser preservation facility, and they're watching remotely. Okay, all right. I was confused. I thought for a second in, like, the middle of the main hall, they're like, and we'll just put her in the wife hole for easy wife storage, and we'll just, that, that being that, literally being fridged. Actual fridging. You're not wrong. <laughs> holy shit holy shit uh ginger beard psycho crystal Keskase. very funny very good um all right i haven't given up on galaxy rangers yet i haven't given up yet but oh my god is that weird Max Millarch, look up why we only have 10 toes. I'm going to regret this, Max. I'm going to regret this. Why we only have 10 toes. It's a long story. Oh, okay. All right. It's like a YouTube video? Is that what you're is that what you're trying to point me to? Mhm. Mm I'm not going to watch the whole nature video, but I will I will look at it later. I will look at it later because right now, right now we have some goddamn commercials to watch. That's right. It's uh, that that little bar over there. This little guy, this little guy is here for a reason. You've been donating so far and you have been giving me. <coughs> wow, my entire body just seized for a second. You've been sending me links to retro commercials. And now it's time for us to take a break and see the products of yesteryear with mixed to, dare I say, terrifying results. So let's go. Uh, this was actually sent in by Professor Pig uh, a couple of days ago. I didn't realize he had put it in the media share, but it's still ET Research Week at Wizbrew. Let's uh, let's give it a whirl. Let's let's see what let's see what you got. Uh, yes, here we go. Oh no! Oh yes? Ugh! God, I still hate his design. Wicked! What? Has ET, the extra technology you need to stay in touch. Like email and high-speed internet access. What? So you can do much more than just phone home. Between this and the Sky Channel uh, ads, for some reason, there's tons of, like, 
canonical E.T. sequel stuff happening with um, with E.T. in England. No, I don't understand it. Uh, let's see. Here's another one. Ooh, Dunkin' Donuts. Time to make the donuts. Oh, I miss this guy. A big idea from a giant in the business. <gasps> oh, shit, I remember this ad. In new Dunkin' Donuts cereal, you get delicious, crunchy little donuts by the hundreds. All your favorite donut shapes, rings, holes, and twists. You can choose rich chocolate or glazed donut flavors. Oh, my God. As part of a nutritious breakfast, Dunkin' Donuts cereal. Crunchy little donuts, great big taste. I remember that ad. Enjoy your Zoa. I remember that ad so much. And I remember, I think, I think I begged my parents to get it once. And the amount of disappointment my child brain remembered was, I mean, obviously it's not actually a whole box filled with tiny donuts. The same way that cookie crisp isn't actually filled with tiny cookies and cinnamon toast crunch isn't actually little toast and uh, the waffle one isn't actually little waffles. That would be so prohibitively expensive and impossible to keep uh, fresh on the shelf. But I thought, because the ad showed him making tiny donuts, that if we bought this cereal, I would get a box of actual miniature donuts and not shitty, frosted, stale, like, bad Cheerios. God. God, it's weird which of these commercials summon these bizarre, fleeting memories from the deepest chasm of my mind. Metal Nerd says, the little waffle ones were so good. I like the little cinnamon roll ones. I forget the, what they were called, but they were just like these little intensely sweetened swirls of bullshit. Cookie Crisp is good as fuck, even though they're not actually tiny cookies. Why doesn't my mouth look more Muppet-like? Uh, it's based on like, uh, if you ever looked at an old uh, Sesame Street children's book, there's this weird like in-between style. Don't tell me the tiny cookies weren't tiny cookies. Enjoy your Zola. I think this is another Professor Pig, but uh, here we go. A Chew It's ad from the 1980s. I don't know what a Chew It is. I assume it's some form of mint or gum or candy. The Muncher. London's under siege. But beware, this gobbling brute is a master of disguise. I mean, great stop motion animation. Is Chew It's like, are they like a Bonkers? Are they like a Starbucks? Oh, fuck yeah. Torgo, did you submit this one? I love a hanker for a hunk of cheese. Um, especially immortalized in the weird early season family, family guy cutoff joke where he's just like, I just smoked a whole bunch of crack. This was, of course, back in the day where uh, anything, just, just mentioning the drug crack was an uh, entire punchline for a joke. If you could like throw, if you could say something was something on crack on steroids, you were, you had a comedy career for the next 20 years. All right. Oh, hunk of cheese. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> ever get that hungry feeling after school? Oh, yes. I I'm so hungry, I could eat a wagon wheel. Yes. When I'm slow on the draw and I need something to chaw, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. <laughs> when my ten gallon hats are feeling five gallons flat, I got something planned, which is little cheese sandwiches. Come on. Here's a great little snack to tide you over till dinner. If you want something delicious and nutritious, cheese is a super snack. Look, a wagon wheel. When my get up and go has got up and went, I hanker for a hunk of cheese. When I'm dancing, I hold down and my boots kind of slow down, or any time I'm weak in the knees. I hanker for a hunk of, a slab or slice a chunk of, a snack or day is a winner, and yet won't spoil my dinner. I hanker for a hunk of cheese. Yahoo! What a... I... It's weird, right? It's weird that that was a PSA 
about eating more cheese. Like that wasn't an ad from the Dairy Council. That wasn't a commercial for a brand of cheese. That was like the actual forces of government like well-being, like institutional forces being like our nation's children aren't cramming themselves with enough cheddar. Uh, the government did. Oh, my God. Yeah, if it was around the 80s, that would be around the time that dairy subsidies created a glut of cheese. And like that would. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam Conover's the G word. I think they even covered it in Adam Ruins Everything. Yeah, you're right. The timing totally pans out. This That was government propaganda to make up for its own horrible subsidy programs. Dairy surplus got to go somewhere. Shit, man. Shit. Should have been, uh, should have been vegetables. Oh, well. <laughs> ABC had a bunch of PSAs like that that were like, hey, maybe eat a carrot. <laughs> All right. This one, an, ooh, an anti-piracy ad. Let's check this out. Is this real or a fake one? I feel like there's more fake anti-piracy ads out there than there are real ones. The pirates are out to get you. Don't let them brand you with their mark. Piracy what? funds organized crime and will destroy our film and video industry. <laughs> jobs and will destroy our music and publishing industry. Piracy funds terrorism. What? Destroy our development and your future enjoyment. Don't touch the hot stuff. Cool is copyright. Copyright is a matter of fact. What? Any knowledge of the manufacture or sale of counterfeit film and video product or related software, please call our UK hotline on... <laughs> I'm not a snitch. Double six four six. Maybe sometimes I don't want to sit in a theater and I just want to watch a bad bootleg. Leave me alone. Support can end the distribution of poor quality product. <laughs> you wouldn't download a branding iron. In your pocket. Wow. <laughs> Mixic, if you bootlegged, if you own a bootleg VHS, you did a 9 11. Yeah, I have funded three 9 11s. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Genghis John. I, I'm more willing to fund terrorism than I am to fund Jared Leto. <laughs> like, if I had the choice, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd have to think about it. There'd definitely be pros and cons I'd have to weigh. But, like, yeah. Was that e Ewan McGregor? I don't know. Could be. All right. Next. Oh, Jenna. Jenna with the life alert. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If you're of this, my generational cohort, the words, I've fallen and I can't get up, is like seared into your brain. Jesus. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. But with Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. This is Life Alert. Are you okay? I'm calling for help right now. Life Alert saves a life from a... Oh, man. Life Alert probably hates Alexa, right? Like, yeah, if I, if I like, mangled myself down the stairs... I wouldn't be like, oh, no. I'd just be like, hey, Google. Hey, Google, hospital me up. Actually, shit. That activated my phone. Fuck. No, 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 no. Shit. No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel. Do not, do not call the hospital. Fuck. Shit. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, sorry if anybody is listening over speakers. <laughs> sorry if I just... Alexa. Alexa, order... Boys pants, extra husky size. Alexa, order cargo shorts, men's 5XL. <laughs> I did not just swat myself. <laughs> People have said. <laughs> a 
Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't think I didn't think so many of you were listening on on actual home speakers. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm feel Oh, that was so scampish of me. I'm so scampish. I'm on I'm sorry. Hi. I'm glad I'm on your TV, Pippa. I'm on Pippa's TV. I'm on Pippa's TV. I'm on Pippa's TV. Give me your HBO Max password. Hold on, hacking. I now have your HBO Max password, Pippa, because I'm in your TV. I can hear my cat yowling. Oh, God. So much. Oh, I've, I've unleashed hell. All right, let's finish this life alert commercial, I guess. A catastrophe every 10 minutes. Thanks to life alert. I can have peace of mind and continue. The 60 inch, goddamn. For a free life alert brochure. 60. Hold on, hold on. 60 inches of Jared. My God. Ah, shit. Now, look how big I am. Oh, yeah. Just... Uh, uh, Bixby. Bixby, donate $15 to Puppet Jared. Bix hey, Bixby. I command you, Bixby. Sp empty your credit card. Empty your credit card right now. <laughs> Damoc, hey, I'm glad you're stepping in. It's There's shenanigans. There's a lot of shenanigans. Uh, hold on. Let me get back to normal size. Let me get back to normal size. All right. Let's do like two, three more of these, and then we'll move on to the next cartoon. Uh, Piggy's advert. Piggy's. What? Ah! What? Three pounds opens a piggy bank savings account. One pound covers membership. For that, your child gets woody. Oh, it's terrifying! They get the next piggy bank. What kid would be like, Mommy, Mommy, I want the terror pig? Those are the ugliest fucking banks I've ever seen in my entire life. In America, we had the Hess truck, where Hess gas stations every year gave out, like, a pretty cool toy truck that, like, sometimes it had, you know, planes, sometimes it, it, it was... That would now now that was a tie-in product. Anyway, let's see. ABC, don't drown your food. The title of this is Don't Drown Your Food. I am a little upset. Let's see. I'm Lewis, the lifeguard, and happy to say I rescued a drowning potato today. They drowned it in sour cream. Oh, what a shame, because food's so much better when it's practically plain. What? Don't drown your food in mayo, salt, ketchup, or goop. Yuck, it's no fun to eat, but you can't even see. So don't drown your food. Wait, actually, wait. Oh, that's fucking insane. That's weird. Like, I, that is, yeah. It's, okay, so this is going to be some weird, like, keto bullshit. But uh, if you ate a plain potato, first of all, what do you mean eat it plain? What do you mean eat a plain but why why was there a PSA demanding that I eat a plain potato? That's fucking weird. That's like eat a salad without dressing? What are you talking about? But uh for food like especially simple carbohydrates like a potato, you need fats in there to slow the absorption. Like the like the sour cream actually helps keep your blood sugar regular. And stops your like entire endocrine system from flipping the fuck out because you just ate an entire potato and worth of uh, carbohydrates. There's actually tons of reasons why you should slather and drown your food and stuff. That was yeah, that was nothing. That was nothing. You need salt. 
The human body needs salt. You need to salt food in order to have a functioning nervous system. The low says, I eat salad without dressing, just some lemon juice. I mean, I, okay. Okay. Salt to Excel is, there is a plain potato diet similar to keto. It's awful. I have been curious about the potato diet. I have, I, I bought a book on Amazon. I have it in my Kindle library. I haven't finished reading it. But I feel like I could do the potato diet. I'm like that fucked up. I'm that fucking loco, man. I could do it. I would like be glad. I would love, I would love it if I like showed up to a family reunion or something and everyone's like, God damn, God damn, you look cut as hell. I mean, I know I'm like your uncle and I shouldn't be saying this, but you are a sexy beast. What is your secret? And I'd be like, I eat nothing but plain potatoes. And they'd be like, that's fucking weird. And then I'd show off my potato abs and they'd be like, well, can't argue with results. <laughs> you guys sharing your raw potato anecdotes in the chat. Okay. Okay. It's that wasn't an uncle fantasy zombie, Josh. It was more of an uncle scenario. It was a, it was a non fan. It was just a, a simple point of, it was just an uncle illustration. Ah, uh, whatever, whatever. Um, we'll, we'll keep this commercial. We'll uh, get through the rest of the commercials after our next cartoon, which will be, of course, uh, wait, not this one. Is this it? this it oh yeah it is we're doing rainbow bright that's right that's right buckle up boys and girls it's america's favorite chthonic avatar of raw cosmic power the eldritch one the undying the avatar of light the color being rainbow bright i guess yeah i guess yeah, twink in the gang that's right jo zombie josh it's our old pals, Twink and the gang. Here we go. Here we go. Enjoy your Zoa. Oh, it's a two-parter. Looks like we're finally going to get some backstory. <laughs> Oh no. I am terrified of what the fuck they're gonna do as a, is it really are they really gonna actually try and explain this? Are they actually going to try and, and like even pretend that there's a coherent story to be told with this? I mean, Mixic, Mixic, you're making a very good point about the visible light spectrum. The existence of rainbow bright means that there has to be, by extension, gamma bright, radio bright, uh, x-ray bright, <laughs> pulsar bright. Radar bright, shortwave bright, millimeter wave bright. What is this? What has become of Twink and the boys? <laughs> that was a good little piece of character animation. To the best of our knowledge, Rainbow Bright is a Omega level galactic presence. Hey, it's Twink! What the fuck? What? You still want to save this world, little wish? Yes. What? Even worse close up. Find the light 
and the color of this land and set it free and the darkness will disappear. Where do I start? Wait, wait. Wait a minute. It, th does this mean in the pantheon of Rainbow Bright there are beings higher than Rainbow Bright? Who is this lady? Who is this who is this god above god? What is Don't act, why are they trying to give the Oh my god, they would have been so much better just like being like it's Rainbow Bright, she's the color girl, she lives in Colorland, that's all you get. But no, we got a fucking Genesis. We have a fucking deluge. Look for the sphere of light. All like that little pulsating, I, I don't know how else to say it. I'm sorry for being crude, but that fucking cosmic clitoris beckoning this angel being and giving her instructions on redeeming a planet is insane for a children's show where do i start look for the sphere of light i'm not cr i'm not gross i'm cosmic clitoris all right oh man flesh wife would hate me <laughs> are you still there you haven't seen a sphere of light by any chance have you I'm looking for a sphere of light so I can make your world beautiful. Ah! Color, happiness. Oh! First of all, the those birds seem to be doing just fine. Those birds had plenty of uh twink prey, all the craggy rocks they could ever roost on. Like who's Rainbow Bright to, and not to be a moral relativist here, but like you know, who is who is Rainbow Bright to judge that the little puffballs should be the dominant life form of this planet? I guess I'm on my own. I can't wait to gentrify this planet so all these filthy bug monsters have to go away and me and my safe, soft friends get to play around all day. This is a metaphor for Brooklyn. <laughs> the animation is still so weirdly good. Heaven Hound, the, this lore where Murky is actually like the indigenous uh, colorless like monster uh, leader trying to like actually reclaim <laughs> the land that Rainbow Bright uh, changed with her color gentrification. It's like kind of an amazing read. This is kind of amazing. Okay, so there's a spooky castle. So, like, 
the planet so the so the softies the soft boys twink in the gang twink in the boys were thriving and then spoo whatever's in the spooky castle turned it into craggle monster land my castle everybody goes nobody gets there there's monsters dark and, and the evil one he makes the wind blow and and snow and lightning he makes mountains fall down on you once once he he it's my quest i have to find the sphere of light Imagine tuning into this on a random Saturday morning with your like little Rainbow Bright doll being like, yay, Rainbow Bright, cute, fun colors, Rainbow Bright. And like, this is the first five minutes of this episode is just darkness and horror. But it's, he's... And sorrow. Come on. My name's Wiz. I'm Twink. And I'm making a big mistake. Again with the robot flower. You really need the sphere of light this much? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Torgo, you're not wrong about the My Little Pony special also being kind of fucking dark as hell. <laughs> Why does the lava sound like Nickelodeon slime? <laughs> Vince Omni Geek, that is a very good theory. The animation is like really fluid Oh, they care for each other. And carry your weight, Twink. I wish I... Why did she ask Twink to come along? Why on a Twink? <laughs> come on, Twink. I'm gonna need some real dead weight to pad out this part of the episode. I'm gonna need you to be a real slippy sloppy goobble gop. Just a real clumsy dumsy. Was it? Where are you? <laughs> oh my god, is this where Twink's. <laughs> we trained Twink wrong as a joke. Ah, uh, funny. Uh, this, uh, do you think we'll get backstory on why Twink loves getting kicked in the bum so much? Maybe this is where his famous love of getting a foot planted square in his butt is, it starts. Yours. Come on, let's go. <gasps> oh, he's dead. Phew. Oh, there's... Water crystals have ruptured their brain flesh. Those those guys are dead. Those guys are completely dead. Can he be if he keeps all these beautiful statues here? They're not statues. I try to tell you. This is what happens if you go to the castle. <laughs> oh, he's and he's dead. He is dead. You don't have to come if you don't want to. Oh, now. Now she understands. Come on, Twink. I, I can't. We're almost there. My feet are heavy. I'm turning into light. Light down. You can't let it happen to you. <laughs> You can make it if you believe you can. Yeah, that's right. All those other people that have died 
uh, just didn't have the right attitude. You got to you got to pick yourself up by your, my own by your own bootstrap. I mean, when I was a teenager, I was frozen from the neck up, but then I got a summer job and I bought a house for five dollars. And then I went to law school for a nickel. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I don't want to hear any of this. I'm slowly being frozen to death stuff. You just need an attitude adjustment. You just got to have an entrepreneurial spirit, Twink. Believe, Twink. Try and believe. I learned to code, Rainbow Bright! I learned to code and now I cannot be frozen anymore! Kick that bird in the face. Yeah, yeah, good horse combat. Oh my god. This is, that's the second time this horse... Did they reuse the animation of the horse falling off a cliff in that other episode? This horse fucking loves yeeting himself and breaking all of his legs. The, okay, okay. The things we know about these characters. Rainbow Bride is an undying god from beyond the cosmos that serves the all clit. Uh, Twink loves getting kicked in the bum bum. And this horse yearns to break all of its legs. You can talk. Talk? I'm Starlight, the most wonderful horse in the universe. <laughs> of course I can talk. Okay, so like my head cannon, my head cannon is that uh, Starlight died in the cliff drop. And like Rainbow Bright was so fucked up in the head from grief that she imagines that Starlight's still alive and can talk. And that's why the horse can talk. Hi, it's me. Uh, the ve like uh, every fucking internet fan theory ever. Yeah, yeah, no, it's because uh, they're all dead. And, every and, the, uh, and the main character is just so fucked up over it that they're hallucinating. Isn't this an original thought? Isn't this so cool? It doesn't this doesn't this put a dark twist on a classic children's cartoon? Dessert! Where's my dessert? I'll get it for you, Murky. Oh boy, oh I <laughs> Where'd they get lobster? What? This is what she looks like. What? Now get after her. What it? What? That was amazing animation. But what the fuck was that evil steam contraption computer? We'd, we'd never seen that before. I thought the Monstro Merc was the main bad guy or something. What? Boy, I thought we'd never get out of there. All in a day's work for the magnificent Starlight. My name's Wisp, and this is Twink. Hmm. There are some places you just can't go. There's only one way into that castle. 
the legends say, mm, maybe Ms. Bagu, that there's a special collar belt, and it's the only way to fight. You know who? Where do we find this collar belt? Well, the legends say it's in the river. The no return river? The evil one threw it in a long, long time ago. So the legends say. We have to go and look for it. In the no return river? <laughs> try look around you look how awful this world is don't you want it to be bright and beautiful and full of life <sighs> so do the birds and the bug monsters not count as life i this is <laughs> the voice acting is very good I'm going to make that little spy so gloomy she'll never want to see colors again. Colors are pretty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get off me. We have to hurry. Oh, goody. <laughs> A trip. I love going on trips. You do know where the river is. Mm, absolutely. That river was right here. It was right here. <laughs> I would love if they actually made, like, Lurky a mutated twink. Now! Now, Noodle Brain! Like, they put a twink on human growth on HGH, and this is the result. When we're done, do I get to ride on the horse <laughs> I'm sweet. I'm sorry. Did it have a no rainbow bright sign on it? Do I get to ride on the horse? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Now I now I, as the audience, I know, I know that this is an anti rainbow bright weapon. Horse What's that noise? It sounds to me like an earthquake. An earthquake? <laughs> Just so you know, this machine is designed to murder this specific little girl. <laughs> ah. I'm so splendidly graceful. This is 
some good physical comedy. <laughs> oh, oh, I want a gif of Twink punching the shit out of a piranha. Krakow! Get twinked on, fucker! Lightning reflexes! Bibbidi bop bop bop! Can't touch this! Twink's got those hands, baby! Float like a butterfly, sting like a twink. Get me out of here! They're coming! Done! Done! We're done! Get me out! Not done. Did you hear something? <laughs> done. More gay? I guess he's back at the grunge buggy. Down here, banana brain! Me. It looks a little shaky to me. It's fine. I hope they like swimming. <laughs> Are they just gonna ignore the adult man in the middle of the bridge? Go back. I was about to suggest that. We can't. Starlight Twink, it's my a quest? I don't think we'd make it back. No twink gets left behind. Also, what about the piranhas? Aren't there still piranhas in this water? Grab onto my mane! <laughs> There's the piranhas. God damn! Oh, well, that was convenient. What? A goddamn sea dargon? No way. A baby. What? What do you mean a baby? What do you mean a baby? What do you mean a baby? What? Excuse me. Excuse me. A baby. A baby, you say. A baby. A baby. That's there's a surprise baby in here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just out of left field. Just completely, just like. You've got to help me. I want to go home. A baby. A baby. You'll be all right. Wiz, what a magnificent sight you are. <laughs> I found a baby. Just what we need, a baby. She's all alone. We have to help her. Wait, where's what? Why is it a human baby? There's yeah. There's a cave here. Let's get the baby out of this rain. Maybe is this color Jesus? If there are, at least they're dry. 
for there was no room at the inn. I know it's probably one of the color kids. That still doesn't make any fucking sense. It's all right. Everything's all right. Babies. I think maybe she's cold. Look, we can build a fire. You'll be warm in a minute. Do they know what fire is? How are we gonna light it? Stand aside, my friends. What? <clears throat> what? Does that mean he has horseshoes on? Does that mean that some, there's like, there's just raises so many more questions. It looks like something murky would wear. It sure doesn't look like much, does it? We'll find the one we're after. We just have to keep looking. It must have been really beautiful once, but not very special. Hello it darkness, my old friend. I've come to Rainbow Bright again. And though the river gave us a baby, will we finish this episode maybe? And the horse is wearing fucking shoes. Who knew? And it's the sound of rainbows. Said who needs a baby? If it weren't for her, we never would have come in here. Now we'll find that sphere of light. And then we'll make this whole land bright and beautiful. Weird. That's the end of this episode. All right. All right. That was part one. Part one of the, what was it? Was the origin of Rainbow Bright? The history of Rainbow Bright? What they called it? The big. The beginning of Rainbow Land, part one. This is how we started. <laughs> and this is how we ended with fucking baby color Jesus. How are we gonna light it? Stand like much. Very special. a baby if it weren't for her we never would have come in here now we'll find that spear of because the belt was supposed to be in the river light and then we'll make this whole land bright and beautiful and we'll open a third wave coffee shop and a pop art themed gallery and also a artisanal basket store Jesus Christ, that was, that was weird. That was so weird. Why, what the fuck? Is, nobody wanted this. Nobody wanted Rainbow Bright fighting a series of birds and lava. I mean, Murky and Lurky, of course. You're going to have that in a Rainbow Bright. Everybody loves Murky and Lurky. But what the fuck? fuck were they thinking ah well i guess rainbow bright will confront the dark one when this episode when we get to part two next week rainbow bright who knew who knew <laughs> great sci-fi horror i believe it rainbow bright does charge eight dollars for a cappuccino uh i have to pee real fast i have to pee real fast i will uh uh, what, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, oh, is Flesh Wife is back? Oh, yeah. Flesh Wife is back. Enjoy yourself. That was fast. I'm good. They let me go early. Hey, Flesh Wife was so good in rehearsal, they let her come home early. <laughs> My love, can I get a grapey seltzer? Yep, yep. I love you. God, I'm a pathetic wretch. All right, never mind, never mind. We're just going to get back to the commercials. Everybody's saying, welcome back, Flesh Wife. Anyway, uh, we got more commercial requests during uh, our last our last uh, little adventure, so let's jump right back into it. Uh, this was, oh, I love you. I love you so much. I'm talking to the seltzer and you. Uh, this one's from Professor Pig. 
Ooh, a Cadbury Flake commercial. I love me a Cadbury Flake. I said I love me a I love me a flake. There's an Israeli chocolate bar that I used to eat as a kid called Miku Pellet that was basically the same thing. Man. Holy shit. Am I allowed to show this? There has this has to be a violation of terms of service. That was an ad for oral sex. That was. I, I, I got a second wind. I got a second wind. That was, hey, hey, do you like oral sex? Also, buy chocolate. <laughs> One hypnotic. Enjoy your flake. I don't know why there was a lizard in that. Uh, next one. This one's called Goodnight Kiwi and the Cat. I have no idea what this is. I have no clue. Oh, this is the end of broadcast animation. This is kind of pleasant. Oh, Papango, you did this. A nice palate cleanser for whenever you need it. A little animation that played when TV ended for the night. Aww. It's good night from Channel 2. That was the most wholesome thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I feel at peace. I feel good. I feel so nice now. Huh. Timeout games by Mego. These look like Nintendo Game & Watches. Like, I can already see that's the ball character. Did they release Game & Watches in America or somewhere else? Whatever. Let's watch it. Let's figure this out. Jogging gave you pawn and arches. Take timeout. Tennis gave you tennis elbow. Take Time Out, the new electronic sport where size and strength won't help. There are four Time Out games. Those, yeah, that's Mr. Game & Watch. Flagman or Fireman Fireman. Yeah, these are Game & Watches. so slim, you'll play them anywhere. Enjoy yourself. Basketball through your back out. Take Time Out. Time Out electronic games from Mego. Mego. Ha! Huh. Oh my god, Fleshwife. Rainbow Bright was a fucking trip. Oh, shit. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think Gingerbeard submitted this one. But uh, I... The Venga bus has arrived, people. The Venga bus has... The Venga bus is here. We knew it was coming. They warned us that the Venga bus was coming. And now, finally, after all these years, the Venga bus has arrived. There once was a town that worked so hard, there was just no time for play. But that all changed on this one particular day. Give me that good Venga boy. Come on. Oh, I need it. I need it. I'm edging. Oh, God, play the Venga boys. Please. <gasps> yeah! Let's go! Uh, to, to San Francisco, and everybody's running, and also there is gum, and yes, it's Venga Boy time, we're in a big old bus now. The Venga Boys are here, and yes, we're Venga Boys, we're in a real cool bus. The Venga Boys are also the Six Flags music theme song. The Venga Boys are also in a real cool bus. Bugs Bunny. It's playtime. We like the Venga. We like, we like the Venga. We like a bus. We're the Venga boys and we're on a bus. 
Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for that. Uh, next is uh, one from Vince Omni. It's uh, some kind of shampoo shenanigan? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No, I think uh, I think the media got whoop de duped Let me double check. No, that is... Ah, uh, okay. Vince Omni says... Uh, okay, let's figure this out. My hair has been stuck in the Stone Age. Jinkies, my hair doesn't move. My hair doesn't feel free. Enjoy yourself. I don't feel free. Well, that's all changed now. Now my hair has hold, but I can still run my fingers through it. Oh, that's so weird. It's lighter. My hair moves. Enjoy oh, yourself. I feel pretty. <laughs> Talk about yabba dabba do. I've been searching for a way to end the mystery of beautiful hair. Mystery solved. Huh. Huh. Uh, let me, uh, Vince Omni, you submitted a, a, some kind of Mountain Dew commercial and it got like uh, borked somehow. Let me see if, all right, now I think it'll play. Wow, I'm thirsty. Well, you know what to do. Get yourself a glass of Yabba Dabba Doo. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Fun fruit drink, made just for you. Yabba dabba do. I have never heard of that in my entire life. Also, is there any more unpalatable sounding pitch than fruit drink? That that sounds genuinely unappetizing. <laughs> Hey there, friend. Can I interest you in a fruit drink? Like what? No, just say lemonade or orange soda or something. I, I don't trust fruit drink. <laughs> Big Bowser says, going on a hunger strike till they bring that back. Can't imagine it was that good. Feels like it was just like 90% cyclamate. Feels like one of those things that was just like, just pure cyclamate. <laughs> Jennifer, hi, yes, I am human and I love fruit drink. <laughs> <laughs> White Claws is not a fruit drink. White Claws is uh, a way of life, but not as good as the Topo Chico hard seltzers. Fun fact, orange juice is sprayed with perfume so you can taste it. I believe it. I, I believe it. Uh, all right. Accepting these. This one's from Torgo. Another beverage. Uh, this one is Dusty Rhodes likes mellow yellow. Play, please. I I command you to play. And now you shall play. Play now. Now play. There it goes. After a hard day at the office, working up a big thirst, many professionals reach for the smooth taste of Mellow Yellow. Woo, baby! Mellow Yellow, the oh. taste that beats Mountain Dew. And now, Mellow Yellow has pictures... Is that Cactus Jack? ...on your favorite NWA wrestlers, Ric Flair, Sting, the Road Warriors, and even my pretty face. Head to your... God damn. ...and collect all 12. Woo! Take it from Dusty Rose, the American Dream. Make the Mellow Yellow move. Pure charisma, pure masculine, don like, perfection. Hard times, baby. We're talking hard times, Dusty Rhodes. Probably Bruiser Brody, probably. Uh, this one is Nintendo 64 Fruit by the Foot commercial. Come on, dude. Just chill. No, this is what? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! My turn's over. But you've been playing for sixty-two years. Now you can play Nintendo 64 longer than ever with Fruit by the Foot's new game tips, ninety tips to help you reach new levels and beyond, and sixty-four game tips from Fruit by the Foot. Your games go on and on and on. Mom, you're killing me. 
I would, I honestly, Zombie Josh, I would, if I knew that I could get cool N64 tips by buying Fruit by the Foot instead of String Thing, I'd probably get my uh, my parents to get Fruit by the Foot. It is no long, man, but what is TV Sprint? Another Flintstone. Oh, a Flintstones PSA. The best of both worlds. Great. Give it to me. Take it easy on that skateboard, Freddy. Be careful. You too, Dad. Don't forget. Oh, Flintstones kids. Jesus. Oh, yeah. The seat belt connected to the frame zone. The lap strap goes across the hip bone. The shoulder strap angles or the chest bone. So hear the words of the law. Those belts, those bones, those seat belts. For safety's sake, wear seat belts. I'll properly wear seat belts and heed the words of the law. Heed the words of the law. Yabba dabba buckle up. Yabba dabba buckle up. Jesus. God. That was strained. <laughs> Yeah, remember kids, yappa dappa buckle up. Fucking hell. What was with the blank kids or babies trend? Uh I think Muppet Babies got that ball rolling. I think. I don't know. I remember yeah, there were Flintstones kids, what's new Scooby or no, uh a pup named Scooby Doo. And uh what was the other one? Yo Yogi. Jesus. Did technology regress by the time Fred grew up? I mean, if you read those insane Flintstones comics from the uh, 2000s, uh, the, the world of bedrock is fraught with, with all sorts of cataclysms and political upheavals. God, those are, people, we need like a renaissance for those insanely progressive and weirdly touching Flintstones comic adaptation from the 2000s. I feel like people were all over that shit. Now, like nobody talks about them anymore. I also loved a Oh yeah, Tom and Jerry kids. Fuck, I forgot about Tom and Jerry kids. Holy shit. Uh James Bond does James Bond Jr. count as long as we're talking about like the weird kidified versions of classic characters? Hmm? Please explain what? No oh shit, the vitamin commercials. Tiny Toons? Yeah, shit. They were the 2010s. Oh, oh, the Flintstones comics. Thank you, Soul 2 XL. Thank you for the correction. There was, oh yeah, and the young Indiana Jones. Yeah, man. Just put a baby on it. Put a baby on it. You like the old thing? Here's baby old thing. All right. Oh, Torgo, thank you for submitting the E.T. board game commercial. Uh, I'm, I promise I'm not going to get mad at whatever convoluted, not fun game this is going to end up being. It's here, the E.T. board game. Yeah. Now you can pretend to help E.T. go home. Danger! Sometimes you can hide. You're safe, E.T. And sometimes you can fly. Yeah. Now Sometimes you can fly and it's just the kid picking up the piece and the other kid going, wow, the miracle of flight. <laughs> Honestly, this still looks incredibly, uh, this still looks way more fun than the Atari game. So I'm on board. I'm on board for whatever this is. To the spaceship. The one that helps E.T. the most wins. Also sold separately, the E.T. card game. E.T. board game from Parker Brothers. Some assembly required. Great. Great. Honestly, way better than the E.T. Uh, Atari game. I'd play it in a, in a second. Uh, another ad? Ooh. Oh, okay. More sexy chocolate ads. All right. All right. Everybody try and not get horny. Just try and just reduce your horniness as you watch this. Richard Carmel's with a chocolatey claim new milk duds. Crunchy malted milk balls, whop more chocolatey new whoppers candy. Can't get them off your mind. Richer, can't get them off your mind. Smoother, can't get them off your mind. New milk duds, can't get them off your mind. New whoppers, can't get them off your mind. Until you pop them in your mouth. Whoppers. Milk does. <laughs> no. Wait, whoppers are from the 80s? Wait, 
Wait, Whoppers are from the 80s? They're m malted milk balls. I assumed they were like a holdover from the 1920s. You're telling me they dropped Whoppers in the 80s? That's so weird. That's so weird. I If you would have, if you had a genie pull a magic gun and point it at my head and was like, when were Whoppers made? I'd be like, uh, in the Victorian era, uh, but, uh, pre-antebellum America. Like, holy shit. Weird. We so they were like trying to bring malted milk balls back. Okay. Google says 1949. All right. So they are fucking old. They are old fashioned. So why were they like new Whoppers? Oh, you're right, Torgo. They re yeah, I think a reformulated thing. That sounds bad. What do you mean big malted milk balls? Do they make those? Yeah. You're telling me they like they make like Whoppers, but like there's even more weird dusty milk inside? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> weird. I don't know. We got more Flintstones. I think we're getting a theme tonight. I think a theme has emerged, and it's the fucking, it's Fred and Barney. Hey, Gus, you special enough to skate with us? I'm an all-star skater. There's nobody greater. I score every game, but being a pepper's my fame. All right! We're peppers, too! I'm a pepper, he's a pepper, we're a pepper, she's a pepper. Would you like to be a pepper, too? It's all right to be dynamite, but to be a pepper is out of sight. Would you like to be a pepper too? We're a pepper, he's a pepper. Yeah, but pepper too. I'm a pepper too. If you drink Dr. Pepper, you're a pepper too. Be a pepper, drink Dr. Pepper. all to excel my aunt pepper hated these commercials that's hilarious heaven hound doberman i genuinely believe diet dr pepper is my favorite diet soda it's fucking delicious i love it so much wouldn't you like to be a pepper you crazy son of a bitch all right let's do like uh two or three more of these guys and then we'll move on to the last cartoon of the night oh it's a psa oh god What the What the fuck? What? Wait, what? 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 We're all watching this, right? We, I'm I'm not I'm not hallucinating. I didn't die and my brain is making me imagine a creamy penis dessert advertisement. What the fuck? Also, why is this a PSA? How is this a PSA? To where do you where are you getting a ring a, a, a single clean ring of pineapple? This is a terrible Ah, uh, yeah. Flesh wife, this was health food. I get, this is not health food. First of all, this isn't health food. Yeah, like a syrupy pineapple slice from a can. A si this is a terrible snack. I mean, maybe it'd be okay. What? Health food in the... Man, the past. Now that's a Saturday. That was fucking weird. Brought to you by the... But oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cottage cheese and pineapple is delicious. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. If this was an ad for yogurt, and they were like, 
here's a fun snack. Add some pineapple and bananas and grapes. I'd be like, great. Thank you, yogurt industry. But that was like a public health announcement. That was just like what the, the government was like, hey, kids, we it's very important that you eat this very specific nonsense penis dessert. <laughs> and then they had to hire animators. No, it was yogurt, creamy yogurt. I, yeah, all right. Uh, everybody in chat is noticing the terrible mogwai. Um, as I, I've talked about this in our uh, Wizard and the Bruiser episode. I was scared of the gremlins as a child. Like, I have a deep phobia of the gremlins. And I don't want to click this. I genuinely don't want to click this. I don't, I don't want to see whatever this is. Whatever this is, I don't want to know. I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely upset about what's about to happen. I'm not scared of gremlins, but this thing, this thing scares me. All right. I, I know I should have puppet solidarity. It's, at least it's not a clown. Zombie Josh, thank you for giving me, for giving me the strength that at the very least it's not a clown. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. How about a nice big pizza getting? It works, it works. Of course, of course. Oh, no, this is of New Zealand. This is New Zealand. But, like, British people, like, the Commonwealth fucking loves having food represented by some ungodly dumb monster. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But, like, half of British Commonwealth food commercials are, like, Watch out, or the glop will get your crisps. And then some fucking atrocity bursts through the door and is like, I ain't gonna get those crisps. It's fucking weird. I don't know why. It's a disease. Tell that before you move. Right, let's get cracking with the pizza. I'll get the little pie. I've got the bacon. Okay, I'll get the gadoops. The onions, I've got them too. Uh, Spindle hot. Pineapple. You got the hibble tabs. Got the herbs. Oh, okay. Where is all this pizza stuff? It's with the spaghetti in the can. Oh. Very easy. Pizza spaghetti? Exactly. You, what is pizza spaghetti? Very What? P what is pizza spaghetti? What the fuck was that? That, I, I can't. I can't. I can't process. I've already burnt through so much of my life soul energy trying to process things tonight. I'm doing a self-care and not processing that. Ooh, fucking PB Max. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Just what is the PB in new PB Max? PB don't mean pineapple beanie, pet barracuda, or parachute buffalo. PB don't mean prehistoric barber or pig basketball. PB means peanut butter. Lots of real peanut butter in pure milk chocolate with a crunch of a whole grain cookie. Now that's maximum satisfaction. Oh. Even if you're as mean as the Pottstown Barbarian, you'll be pleased in one powerful life. PB Max, we mean peanut butter. Now that is fucking life fuel. Oh, I would, I would um, destroy an elderly couple's home with my bare hands for one bite of those if they still made them. I would personally run into an orphanage in a full Freddy Krueger costume and just scream at the children. If you were like, hey, I'll give you a single gram of that candy bar. I would fill an entire municipal water supply with laxatives. If you were like, hey, I'll let you eat this 80s peanut butter candy bar. Commercials today have no saxophone. Damn right, Big Bowser. Bring back saxophone. All right, this will be the last commercial, and then we'll move on to uh, the final cartoon of the evening. Let's see what you got. Superfection is some kind of game. Got to get these puzzle shapes together. Get them into the right places before... Oh, shit! Okay, start the timer. Now the superfection race against the clock begins. Put your pieces into the slot. Make the right connection. Fit in place. Gotta think fast. 
fast, move fast, to finish fast, because if you don't, <laughs> it's some kind of game. Superfection comes complete with game cabinet, 32 puzzle shapes, and mechanical timer. From Lakeside. Yeah. That looks like a fun little game. Enjoy your Zoa. Oh, shit. All right. Media share, go away for a second. We got a we got a cartoon to watch, and uh, I think we're gonna close it out with uh, yes, folks. Sometimes justice, ju you know. Hold on, let me start that over. Justice comes in many forms. Perhaps a dark avenger of the night dressed as a bat. Sometimes it appears like a team of turtles who are a master of the martial arts. And sometimes it is uh, four of the weirdest people you could ever imagine on nonsensical surfboards fighting the most hallucinatorily nightmarish cadre of villains you could ever think of. And that justice is Sky Surfer Strike Force. That's right. Sky Surfer 1, crazy stunts, sore loser, sliced ice. And uh, what was the other guy? The last guy, the one, the miss and missile guy, fight. I there's no way we can top the fetish fuckery that was the giant lady episode last time. Here we go. Mysterious explosion destroys an artificial. Uh, if this is your first time watching Sky Surfers, uh, the opening sequence has. An hour's worth of exposition crammed into 15 seconds. So you're going to want to perk up your ears. When a mysterious explosion destroys an artificial intelligence lab, Adam Hollister is framed. His son, Jack Hollister, sets out to prove his father's innocence. But someone else had caused the explosion and had stolen an experimental computer brain. Merging it with his own brain, he transforms into the master criminal known as Cybron. To fight Cybron and his evil Bioborgs, Jack Hollister becomes Sky Surfer 1, leader of the Sky Surfer Strike Force. Crazy stunts. Sliced ice. Air Enforcer. Air Enforcer. Yeah, I, how was I supposed to remember that one? Sore loser. Surfer Strike Force. BKN will be right back. And now back to BKN. Oh shit, we're Cyber Magic. Cyber Magic. Okay. All right. Wow! I found it. Oh my god, is this a JoJo's reference? Is this a JoJo's reference? Is that the goddamn stone mask? Is this... Oh my god, please tell me this is some JoJo bullshit. Please tell me he's gonna put on the mask and get, like, fucking vampire powers. Please. Please, I beg of you. I Forces of the universe, please make this whole episode... A crazy JoJo reference, and then the Pillar Men show up and get real sexy. King Totama's mask of magic. I can feel its power. No, do not put it on. The hieroglyphics. They are a warning. <laughs> okay, I'm just. Am I the only one that was uh, weirded at, weirdly surprised by how white the <laughs> local translator was? Dawn. The hieroglyphics. They are a warning. Before the power was the curse, beware the one who wears it first. Huh. Why was it weirdly refreshing to watch someone actually heed the words 
of the local uh of the local shaman guy warning them of the evil power yeah, that like never happens when was the when have you ever seen the guy that's like finally the power of the mask and then the like local guy's like no there is a curse and then the but the and the guy's like oh shit really oh oh shit yeah grow okay yeah i'll put it back ah thank you for warning me i mean i was gonna i i i just wanted power unbridled but um uh yeah no thanks who almost uh almost you really saved my bacon there i i you know like what was I, obviously you know what you're doing you can read hieroglyphics what was i gonna be like bah forget your your uh your your crude you crude superstitions like i i believe the mask is magical why wouldn't i believe that there's a curse yeah wow Whew, i almost made a huge mistake thank you so much you know what? can i buy you a drink you are a friend you are a good friend and i trust and believe you random local native warning me to not unlock the power <laughs> I, that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm so stuck on that, but that never fucking happens in TV. Beware the one who wears it first. <laughs> I love that. What a great choice. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if I may call you that, watch closely as I, Billy Ace, create life before your very eyes. You pull out 50,000 new bills and I'll be impressed. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be out of this dumping away from bird brains like you. <laughs> Who throws a dove? As Shakespeare once said, if ye do not like it, the act, ye know the way it out. He has an attitude problem. He's fired the next time he insults a customer. <laughs> Man, what a bummer. I can't believe he made us come to this dive, Brad. Blame my sister. I promised her I'd talk to Billy. He has this bad habit of playing sleight of hand with cash registers. Uh, not a good idea, unless you like cops for an audience. <laughs> <laughs> my love, could I have a whittle tequila? Oh my god. Just a whittle tequila? Oh my god. Ooh woo. <gasps> Just a whittle. Just because I'm having so much fun with my friends. <laughs> oh, that upset her. That upset her very much. Um, sorry, I just like how mad this guy gets about stealing. <laughs> just really, just really, just like, oh, I fucking hate stealing. I can't get her a tequila. I'm, I'm streaming. Uh, not a good idea, unless you like cops for an audience. And now for my final trick, the disappearing egg. I'd prefer to make all of you disappear, but uh, I'll have to settle for myself instead. I love you. It's showtime. What? <laughs> Is this slow motion? What the fuck? I did not think this show had enough artistry to do a classy slow motion action sequence. The fuck, the sky surfers are in fucking bullet time, baby. Look at this. You should have had uh, like a John Woo dove flying across in slow motion. <laughs> what? Oh, he just got shot in the gut. Fantastic. If only I had powers like that. Sliced ice doesn't need to transform. Anyone such a Cirque did you trans and he's laser dust. I forgot that their little transformer watchy things are called Digitrans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm so oh, so much just happened. Oh my god. He just oh and he's laser dust. Replicon. The power imbalance of the, like, evil villains to the power set of the Sky Surfers is ridiculous. Armor activate. Cup breasts now. Accentuate hips. Add samurai bandana, because in case you forgot, my character's Asian. Yeah, we got him on the run. Now let's kick him while they're down. Did the magician just parkour onto a moving helicopter? Great. Cyron's really turning on the heat lately. He must really want you bad, Sky. If he wants me, I'm not hard to find. My informants told me of Sky Super One's whereabouts. You had the perfect opportunity to destroy him, and you wasted it. I can do the job for you. I can get rid of Sky Surfer <laughs> if you give me powers like them. And who might you be? Billy Ace. I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> to have found your way here. Destroy him. No, wait. I can do it. Try me. What makes you think you can succeed where my wargs have failed? Magic. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> this infinite computer brain i'm sorry I, I need that i need that exchange one more time i know i'm rewinding a lot god this show's a gift this show is a blessing what makes you think you can succeed where my wargs have failed magic <laughs> very well <laughs> you shall become a cyborg Sub-Zero Bioplasma is stabilized. <laughs> That's a lot of goo. I, what the, what? I'm sorry, that computer screen. I, I. Raps down Jigitsar. Raps down Jigitsar. Like, oh my god, this is oh. <laughs> hey, I'm getting genetically transmogrified over here. Hey, I'm being the rec my recombinant DNA is being reformatted. <laughs> the transformation is complete. Wait, I'm sorry. The goo evaporated his shirt? What the fuck? The transformation is complete. <laughs> ah, 
and my transformation! You are no longer Billy Ace. You are a Bioborg. I will call you Abracon. <laughs> I am Abracon, the greatest magician in the world! Also, my voice is a lot tougher now! Abracon. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> You're nothing but a two-bit fake. Abracadabra! What? You'll learn to respect my power. Don't waste your powers on him. Destroy Sky Surfer. Count on it, Cybron! Oh yeah, you know this guy. Is like, hey, boss. Um, I was wondering. I couldn't help but notice that he got to still look like a person. Was that was that always on the table, boss? Cause um, my family can't stop screaming when they look at me, and I would. Uh, it's it's very inconvenient. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the ability to turn my whole entire face into a plasma cannon. That's great. Uh, no complaint there. But like. Was there like a button you had to push or something? I mean, fucking Grenader's wife left him. Grenader had a Grenader had a wife. They were about to buy a house in Tallahassee, and she just left him because you know he's a bulbous grenade monster now. It's I uh, I just feel like feel like you were holding out on us. Replica Grenader, follow him. He won't get out of my sight. <laughs> it all goes well, Serena. Oh my God, Grenader! That is a horrifying head cannon. Of of uh, I'm sorry. Of uh, yeah, Sir Redwall. Like Grenader comes back, and like his wife's like, "Hey, honey, how was how was the meeting with Cybron? Did you get powers?" And he's like, "Yeah, it's great. Check this out." And he blows up his house, and he's like, "Oh God, what have I done?" Sky Surfer 1 will no longer be a threat to us. Hello, Jenny. This is Billy Ace. I need your brother's car phone number. Uh, tell Brad it's a matter of life and death. Sky Surfer's death. The exhibition I'd almost forgotten. King Totema's magic. I must have it. I must have more power. <laughs> Mixic. Mixic, that is a great fan theory. That's so twisted. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, why does why is his car like a shitty little uh what's uh what what is that fucking British car? A reliant Robin. Sore loser had to drive around in a fucking 200 cc bullshit mobile while everyone else gets an actual car. The place is deserted. Still think Billy's hanging with the enemy? Hey, check this out. A private exhibition of King Totema's mystical artifacts. It's going on now. Sounds like Billy's kind of gig. Well, one way to find out. And what? Tells us that King Totema believe what? That is some bullshit detective work. If you went into my house and I wasn't there and you just checked random bullshit papers, you'd be like, uh, according to... I have a feeling Puppet Jared's over at the Shen Yu Chinese Dancing Exhibition. Because <laughs> there's just 800 of those flyers in my mailbox. Hmm, he's probably at the uh, supermarket sale because it's pork sale. It's pork days over at the ShopRite. Lived in the ancient mystical powers of magic and surrounded himself with those who claim to possess it. It is said that Totema paid a fortune to have his sorcerers put their ancient magic into this mask so he could pass its powers on to his ancestors. But his enemies put a curse on it. Hocus Pocus! Hocus Pocus! <laughs> Billy Ace is no more. <laughs> He's still got an attitude problem. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn. Honestly, good for sore loser. Oh. Neat trick. Looks like he left behind a souvenir. <laughs> I returned the mask, but talk about red tape. Next time it's your turn. See you at the hotel. Brad, it's me, Billy Ace. Your sister gave me this number. Uh, I need to talk to you. Call me crazy, but I don't usually shoot the breeze with Cybron's Borgs. I'm not a Borg anymore. The process was temporary. Cybron only wanted to use my powers to steal the mask. My powers. Now he sent his Borgs after me. We need to meet in a safe place. The Top of Liberty. Okay, but no tricks. The Top of Liberty? I Wait, does... Did this story take place canonically in New York City the entire time? We're not in like Justice Town or like Libertyville. We're just in straight up the five boroughs, goddamn concrete jungle where dreams are made of New York. Weird. Weird. The occasion, just in case. So did I. Thought it might be a trap. Bird beam attack. <laughs> oh, you thought I you thought you were in for you thought I couldn't beat you, but how would a couple dozen pigeons do? <laughs> I'm not impressed. You look like you could use a friend, so who's uh why don't I uh call one? Hello, Sky Surfer? No sky! It's a trap! Watch out, he's got pigeons! <laughs> BKN will be right back! And now back to our show! What are you doing here? I like that the pigeons, long after their master was completely taken away, didn't just evaporate into the ether. Those pigeons were still, the pigeons were still like, we were born from the void to kill this fucker. And God damn it, we are going to stick to our mission. <laughs> These birds that were just, were not even sentient, but mere seconds ago still are like still dedicated to the mission still got a fucking job to do shoot get away from me Harold Cybron clue 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 sky I'm back the pigeons just like form a cloud of death and like purposefully jam up the engines of sky surfers board in a suicide mission like the rest of the episode is like it follows but with nightmare pigeons <laughs> honestly that's like not a bad pitch for a horror movie i i guess it's like it's kind of like uh i guess that's just alfred hitchcock's the birds but like specifically like okay the premise is you uh pissed off like one flock of crows and like Final Destination style, like the flock of crows using their super bird intelligence, hunts you down and tries to take you out. Torgo, some kind of pandemic of... Okay, yes, it's also birdemic. 
Okay, yeah, okay, fine. No, but I'm saying it's not all birds. I'm saying you are specifically, it's you versus one specific flock of hyper, of reasonably intelligent birds that are out for you specifically. That's like kind of fucked up. I never actually saw Birdemic. Is Bird De- I thought Birdemic was like about all birds attacking everybody. I'm saying flock of crows using all of their crow craftiness just takes out a group of punk teens that like uh, uh, knocked over one of their nests or something. I, I feel like that's got legs. I feel like that's there's there's something there. So you thought you could gain more of your own power. Turned against me, Abercorn. That's a lie. I know. Captain Snuggles, holy shit, just cause. Just cause, that's so good. Fuck, I got, we gotta write this now. Shit. 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 Oh, it's gold. It's gold. All right, hopefully, I definitely got it. Yeah, it's like Terminator, but with several birds. about the mask. I know you tried to steal it for yourself. Why shouldn't I? I kept my end of the deal. I got rid of Sky Surfer. He's at the bottom of the ocean. Captain Snuggles, can you be the guy at the uh, keyboard and I'm the guy on the couch? Every good screenwriting duo has a keyboard guy and a couch guy. And I think it's fairly obvious by this point that I am absolutely a couch guy. Just saying, I, I can do some round. I can do some 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 rounds on the keyboard, but I'm definitely the guy on the couch that's just like laying out some bullshit with no connective tissue. Thank you, Captain Snuggles. No. Sky Surfer is alive. He escaped your feeble trap. I created you, Abracon, and I can destroy you. No, give me another chance, Cybron. I won't fail you this time. I swear it. Very well. The Totema Exhibition is returning the mask to Egypt. I want it, and I have a plan to get it. But I will need your magic powers to carry it out. And once I have the mask, I will destroy Sky Surfer 1 myself. Are we going to get a big dumb computer brain man in a mummy mask? Because if so, I'm about it. It's worth a lot more than our jobs. I'll take the drug, gentlemen. Who said that? They call me Abracon. They do not. One guy has called you Abracon. That's it. Literally one person ever has called you Abracon. I do magic. Hey! What? No applause? I understand. It wasn't much of a trick. How about this one? Let me show you a real trick. I'm about to make your femur disappear. What? Planes aren't held together with nails. God, the villains in this show. Borgs, right on schedule. There's our target. Oh, he has a lasso ray. Thank you, Exotica Vavoom. And good luck at the Big Butt Contest.
Can I tell you how much I love the fact that like 90% of the time they don't show him turning his face into a gun. He just shows up with a gun face and we're supposed to remember that he's Replicon, the shape-shifting guy that can turn his body parts into guns. Damn. Interesting. Okay, so now we know Grenader can reconstitute himself even when he doesn't blow up under his own auspices. The man is immortal. Literally, why are you bothering with any other character? Then just send Grenader. He, literally, you can't do anything to him. He can just fucking blow himself up, come back together. You can knock him out, he'll come back together. Are the villains just Chainsaw Man villains? Probably. jump ship yeah without the prize nuts it was a setup well done Africon. you have an ask and you deserve to be the first one to put it on ah so you feel the curse first that's an old wives tale <laughs> you should listen to old wives. Now I have the power, the power to destroy Sky Surfer. Oh, I can't believe I got conned by a third rate magician. Excuse me. What kind of sad hotel room does he live in? I know we just saw like a glimpse of it, but. Just bare walls. I believe I got caught. A twin bed? God damn it, Sky Surfer One. Get your shit together. On by a third rate magician. Look at this fucking lame ass lamp floating in midair. What the fuck, man? Excuse me for the primitive method of communication. As you know, I have the mask and the power it gives me. But I'm in a generous mood. I'll give you a chance to get it back. If you come alone, I'll be there. Cybron, at last. What? Wait, did he say meet me in an abandoned old west town? What? What? I... What? and the power it gives me. But I'm in a generous mood. I'll give you a chance to get it back. If you come alone, I'll be there. Where? Cybron, at last. Fate has led us to this moment, Sky Surfer. Make the best of it. Oh, I plan to. I will avenge my father at last. He can thank you himself. But soon you will be joining him. D didn't... Why did he need an ancient Egyptian mummy mask to do the disappeary thing? He gave some rando guy off the street... He gave a random guy off the street the power to disappear. Using goo he had lying around. What? What? Nothing comes that easy. You are right, Sky Server. You can only fool me once, Cybron. I won't have to again. 
These are literally the powers he gave someone else. He just literally, he could, this is off the shelf powers. The power is only limited by the imagination. What? <laughs> he summoned a giant panther. Of course. All right. Okay. Nobody in the Replicon Bioborg uh, team <laughs> can summon giant panthers. That's a new power. You got me there. I spoke too soon. A fire breathing panther. <laughs> Just fucking flex his way out of a boa constrictor. That's our hero. Oh no, I didn't imagine. A less feeble boa constrictor. Damn, my lack of imagination. Cybron! I have whatever I need to destroy you. Alright, well, that's that's a winning move. You were once my greatest threat, Skyser for one. Now you are nothing. Don't cut me out yet, Cybron! <laughs> Lame, lame. Ah! What? So the writers were like, shit, we still got like, we got four minutes left to close out this episode. How about a wave of bullshit? How about a biblical deluge of bullshit? How about we just have an old west town with a magic giant cat? Why not? That is... Ugh. You lose, Cybron. You're a lucky guy, Jack. How often do you get a chance to take on Cybron? Probably should have kept the mask and used it to defeat Cybron, but that's just me. That's just I'm just I'm just I'm just freestyle spitballing over here. One on one and live to talk about it. Well, I plan to make a habit of it until he's met the same fate as my father. That was one hot trip to New York. Non-stop action. My kind of gig. Hey, speaking of gigs, whatever happened to Billy Ace? My sister filled me in. The curse? It was a killer. <laughs> For a trick I learned from the secret masters of India. What? Oh yeah, he died. Just kidding. He's still a. He's literally exactly at his status quo, suffering no negative consequences. BKN will be right back. And now back to BKN. Weird. Weird. Okay, that was the legacy of Abracon. That was the legacy of Abracon. Ladies and gentlemen, Abracon is no more. We lost him as soon as we got to know him. It's a shame. I could have sworn we had hours and hours of Abracon based shenanigans to enjoy in future episodes. But unfortunately, it looks like the writers got as much gas out of Abracon as they could. Maybe next week we'll have an even dumber villain. Who knows? But once again, Sky Surfer's Strike Force delivers the kind of nonsense gibberish you can only find here at the Cartoon Dumpster.
God damn, that's a lot of Japanese animators. These Japanese animators worked so hard on this. Insane. All right. Nothing left to do but close out the commercial still in the queue. And I am a little bit scared. I'm a little bit a lot scared. But hey, but hey, that's what we're here for. I want to thank everybody who donated so far. Your support means the world to me. Your support keeps the lights on. Your support keeps food on the table. I genuinely appreciate it. Um, let's see what we got. Keep low point that her bare ass is on display? Was that like... And if you think that's crazy, she's got her ass is on full display. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a that's a hell of a note to end on. Ah yes, tippy toes, the doll with a bare ass. I guess she can walk as well, but come on, come on. All right, let's see what this is. Kids beds, kids beds. In the heartland of America. There's a big... Oh, these things! Ertl's Barn and Machine Shed set. Lots of fun. Wow. Electronic sound to get the job done. Wow. set for horses, too. And the farmhouse set to come home, too. The heroes of America's heartland, the farmers of tomorrow, can start today. I re They showed this ad alongside Saturday morning cartoons. And it was such... Even as a kid, I was like, what do you... Like, what do you mean there's no missiles? What do you mean it doesn't come with, like, ooze or, like, uh, lights? What do you, They're just farmers. <laughs> it was so weird. Turtle makes them just like the real thing, only smaller. If kids want them, Kids Beds has them. Bunk bed. Water bed. Kids Beds. I sleep in a race car. Bed. At Kids Beds, day bed frames start at $45.99. Sweet. Solid wood bunk beds are as low as $99.99. <laughs> what was that karate kick? <laughs> Kids Beds, 2301 28th Street Southeast, next to Big Sur Water Beds in Grand Rapids. Jump into Enjoy yourself. Big savings at Kids Beds. Day bed frames start at $29.99. Bunk bed frames are as low as $99.99. We've got over a hundred beds for kids of all ages at Kids Beds. Kids Beds next to Big Sur Water Beds. Am I just spoiled by like the mass big box stores now? But like a hundred beds doesn't sound like that many beds. Like if you're a dedicated bed store. I feel like you should have more than a hundred beds. I don't know. It's, I'm sure they're still in business. Kids beds next to Big Sur water beds. All right, Torgo donated this. Uh, oh no, wait! I don't think this is Torgo. I'm sorry. God, that's loud! Oh my God, that's so loud! What the fuck? Join us. I mean, this coaster looks incredible. This looks like a rad as hell coaster. You belong to the Smiler. The Smiler, the world's first 14 looping roller coaster. Book now at OrphanTowers.com. All right, sold. I'm in. Get me on the Smiler. Uh, okay, I, this is the Torgo one. Uh, Rainbow Bright content for Flesh Wife. Uh, Rainbow Bright cereal commercial. Okay. 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 Lurky! Rainbow Bright has a new cereal with fruit flavor and bright colors. Colors? Let's see. New Rainbow Bright brand cereal. Sweet, fruity rainbows of bright color. A yummy part of this complete breakfast. Then I'll lurk out! A blue cloud. No match for Rainbow Bright. <laughs> oh, no. We're full of colors. Idiot, we hate color. No lurk out breakfast for us. Fruit flavor, colorful bites. Rainbow 
bright. It's interesting that like without the Japanese animators, the character design like falls apart. Like Rainbow Bright looks so weird in that commercial. Hmm. Uh, oh shit, more Dusty Roads, hell yeah. Dusty Roads can match between Forsyth, Georgia. $99 over factory cost. When I just came from the big arena over seas over there in Tokyo, Japan, I got in the cab outside. I got in a General Motors car and said to the Japanese cab driver, I said, hey, Japanese cab driver. <laughs> he said, what is it, Dream? I said, where you get this General Motors car? He say, Forsyth, Georgia. I say, all right. That's bad, Jack. I'm sorry. That was insane. That was fucking crazy. That was incredible. Oh, God. Where'd it go? I want to watch it a million more times. That was fucking insane. Ah, I lost it. All right. Because uh, I'm short, donated for this one. Brought on by the Dove commercial. The horror, of my pa- the horror my parents had when I was eight. And imitating this commercial. Oh, God, herbal essences. Let's go. Stop by aisle five for Clairol's herbal essences. It takes you where no shampoo is gone before. With all natural botanicals and organic herbs and pure mountain water. Yes! 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 Oh, shit. If you think that's great, try the body wash. (laughs) <laughs> enjoy uh enjoy your Zoa Demon Whiskey, Nick. Thank you. Hell yourself. Hell LPN. Thank you so much for that. That was very nice. Enjoy your Zoa. Uh hmm? Did I Did I lose some stuff in the queue? This one's from Exotica Vavoom. Or no, this one isn't. The next one is. I'm getting used to it. Oh. Oh, we're doing more sex chocolate. We're back to sex chocolate. Zombie Josh says, this song haunted my childhood. for chocolate incredible incredible hey is there some kind of connection between sex and advertising and the way that it tries to uh, appeal to our unconscious desires do you think that might be a thing am i the first person to point this out am i on to something i mean first i gotta finish my screenplay for just cause the horror movie where a flock of crows hunts down and kills a group of teens but after that, I gotta, I gotta blow the lid off this thing. Oh yes! Perfection is the action-packed game where you race to fit the shapes into the slots, but you better be quick, or perfection will pop. Milton Bradley. Uh, Zombie Josh, I think I skipped yours. I put it back in the queue. I let me make sure that it's. Uh... What now? Why does it keep disappearing? I genuinely don't understand what is going on with Media Share. Feels like it should be easier than this. Feels like it should be a lot easier than this. Enjoy your Zoa. Hmm. Hmm. Zombie Josh. Oh, no, wait. There it is. There it is. It just popped up. Sorry about that. I'm, it's, it's the delay. It's the fact that it's got to get processed through like eight different servers before it shows up. My mistake. Let's go. Peanut butter. The best butter. <laughs> Peanut 
to nutter. This part I like as the peanut butter nutters, peanut butter taste and test. We're such a the peanut butter nutters when the whistle goes for lunch. We have peanut butter sandwiches. Smooth and crunch. I'm going to eat a whole goddamn spoonful of peanut butter when this is over. I swear to God. I swear to Christ. Uh, this one's from Torgo, and it's, uh, it says it's what it says on the tin. Pink Panther Flake Cereal Commercial, 1972. 1972, holy shit. A drink, as soon as you think that, got a pink. Take off your pink. They're pink. I feel like there should be more pink cereals. It's weird that there isn't. Uh, Scuba Pags donated this one. Oh, yeah, Soccer Boppers. Always a classic. Soccer Boppers. Soccer Boppers. You can sock all day and bop all night. Soccer Boppers. Soccer Boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. Blow them up. Put your hand inside. Get ready to have the time of your life. Soccer Boppers. Soccer Boppers. Sock them once and bop them twice. Soccer Boppers. Soccer Boppers. More Soccer Boppers. More fun than the pillow fight by Big Time Toys. Soccer Bopper! Fantastic. And I think this is the last one. We're, we did it, folks. We did it. Oh, great. Another perfection commercial. Do they still do the song, though? That's the question. What the beat? They do! Make the right selection. Also, Robbie Rotten? You're racing the clock. Go to perfection. You race to fit the shapes into the slot, but you better be quick. All right, and we're done. Let me put that smooth reggae music back on. All right. So many times we've been so Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me on our weekly journey into the depths of uh, animation hell. It was, uh, we had some good times. We had some weird times. Still don't know what I think about Galaxy Rangers. Still got to keep uh, keep an eye on that one. Yes, we've been running many miles. Uh, takeover. takeover by Richard O'Connor. When the river runs dry, we got to take over. One more dumpster in the books. That's right, 56 Mouse. Live, laugh, piss. Oh, God. Oh, God. That better... I, oh, I guess that's my catchphrase. Until next time. Until next time. Have a great one. Don't be jerks. Be nice. You guys are fantastic. I'll, uh... You know, Tuesdays, we do the Jackbox stream. It's a fun time. Uh... Maybe we'll do a research stream for the podcast topic next week. I don't know. I don't know. But you'll know where to find me on Thursdays, and that's right here in the dumpster. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you later. Uh, oh, who do I raid? Can I raid? Yeah, there's enough people for a nice raid. Who's live? Uh, it always does this. Whenever I hit the raid button, it's like, do you want to raid someone with thousands of people watching? Like, no, I want to see which friends of mine are hanging out. Ah, Pat Bear's hanging out. Pat Bear is a great guy. We're going to raid Pat Bear. He builds uh, Gundams and other uh, Gunplas. And he's a genuine beacon of light in a shit world. If you're watching on YouTube... Maybe uh, head over to Twitch and say hi to Pat Bear. Tell him Puppet Jared sent you. But otherwise, have a great night. I think you're all fantastic. 
Yes, we've been running many Boopity boop. It's a takeover. I'm out. Takeover now. When